Hey everyone, so this lesson we'll still be looking at energy, but in particular photosynthesis, which is the conversion of solar energy into a store of energies like in sugars. So specifically we're looking at plants and how they convert this energy. So photosynthesis is a photochemical process. Uh, we know it's the photo bit tells us it's a, to do with light, so the solar energy, and chemical we know it's a chemical reaction. So solar energy is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugars. The process is endothermic, so that means it's removing energy from the surroundings and using it in the chemical reaction. And in this case, it's using solar energy. Uh, so we know that carbon dioxide plus the water plus the energy forms glucose and oxygen. So we can write this chemical equation as six sets of carbon dioxide plus the six sets of water with the amount of energy from the, uh, from the sun, 2,816 kilojoules per mole, gives us glucose, which is C6H12O6. You need to remember the equation of glucose for all your photosynthesis um, section. And it also produces oxygen, so six lots of oxygen. Uh, chlorophyll is stored in chloroplasts in plants. And this is what gives plants the green color. So chlorophyll uh, weakly absorbs green light, but strongly absorbs red and violet light, which is why it reflects the green and gives it that green color. This energy is used to oxidize water uh, to produce oxygen gas. Uh, so when we oxidize the water to produce oxygen gas, then it produces a lot of electrons. And the release of electrons convert uh, CO2 into the sugars. So carbohydrates are also known as sugars, and they are high energy compounds of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. They include a variety of different sources, like the breads that we have over there. And the, the bananas also contain sugars. So they include glucose as a sugar, cellulose, which is like a, a structural component of plants, and fructose, which is what gives it that sweet taste. So the general formula for carbohydrates is CN uh, with uh, water H2O and N. So N is denoted by how many carbon chains we're having. So light energy is converted into the chemical energy. So remember, when we convert energy, and no energy is lost, or uh, no energy is destroyed, but energy can be lost. Carbohydrates are a store of energy because when we break them, they release energy. So just again, glucose plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. And when we write it, it's glucose, C6H12O6, you need to remember that. And we use water to oxidize it, and therefore we produce carbon dioxide water and the 2816 kilojoules per mole. So when we have energy flow in the, uh, in the environment, first we have the sun give, uh, radiating solar energy, and it's used by producers such as plants. Herbivores then eat the plants to use the uh, stored chemical energy in glucose uh, and use it, the, all the carbohydrates and sugars to, uh, to fuel themselves. And they use chemical uh, processes to break it up and use the energy. So energy used is for biochemical processes such as to make fat and protein. And uh, actually a lot of the energy is lost. And it's lost as heat and about, this is about 75%. So carnivores eat herbivores and use some of the stored uh, chemical potential energy in the herbivores to then use it for themselves. Decomposers then use the remaining energy in uh, carnivores which have died and break them down and recycle all the nutrients and all that. So heat is always lost into the environment from every part of the cycle. So just remember that uh, Photosynthesis is the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into sugars, and uh, this is a chemical, uh, it's a photochemical process. And every time that we eat plants, we're breaking down the store of sugars in there, releasing energy for us to use, and also we're also losing a lot of heat energy. And with that, we can answer questions now. Question six, photosynthesis is 
An exothermic reaction? Uh, no. Remember, we're taking light uh, solar energy and using that to break bonds. So it's an endothermic reaction. Um, it's a mechanical process. It's not. It's a photochemical process. It converts glucose and oxygen into water and carbon dioxide. Uh, no, this is rep rep respiration, which is the opposite process. Remember, photosynthesis is producing glucose, not converting glucose back into uh, carbon dioxide. It is a form of storing energy. Yes, photosynthesis uh, forms glucose and sugars, and these are a form of uh, store of energy because when we break it, it releases energy. Question seven, which statement is incorrect? Chlorophyll weakly absorbs green light. No, because uh, plants are green, plants have chlorophyll, plant, the chlorophyll reflects green light, so therefore it's not absorbing the green light. Energy is lost into the environment in the form of heat. Uh, no. Herbivores obtain energy from the plants they eat. Yes, that's also correct. So we're looking for the incorrect one. Carbohydrates are protein molecules. No, they're sugars, remember? So carbohydrates are sugars, stores of energy. So B is the incorrect answer, and therefore the one we need. Question eight, write the chemical equation for photosynthesis. So remember, photosynthesis is using carbon dioxide and it's also using water to produce glucose. And remember I said glucose was C6H12O6. Oops. O6. And uh, it also produces oxygen. And this one's liquid, so we need to put an L there. So next, after we write the equation, we always have to check that it's balanced. So on this side, we have one carbon. But on this side, we have six carbons. So what do we have to do? We have to times it by six to give us the six carbons that we need here. Next, we have six times two, 12 oxygens plus one, 13. This has six plus two is eight. So here it's not balanced. So what do we have to do to change this? Well, what we, I would usually do is then look at the hydrogen because I know there's 12 hydrogens here and there's two here. So 12 divided by two is six. So I would always put a six here first and then check the rest. So now I have, I go back to the oxygen, which I just didn't do. So six times two is 12. So there's 12 oxygens here. Six times one, six oxygens here. This gives me 18. I have six here and I have two sets here. So what times two? I need to have six here. So six times two gives me 12. 12 plus six gives me 18. So that's balanced. Easy way to remember it is C6H12O6 and then put six in for the rest of them. But also here we have energy relief. Uh, sorry, we have energy here. Remember, photosynthesis requires energy to break bonds and then we can reform them into sugars. So just so you know, it's six sets of carbon dioxide, six sets of uh, water, plus the energy which we before said was 2,816 kilojoules per mole, gives us one mole of glucose and six moles of oxygen. So next, question nine, explain why photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction. So remember endothermic reactions are ones that take energy from the surroundings and use it so it makes it feel cold, remember? So we look at the equation. Uh, oxygen, uh, sorry, carbon dioxide plus water plus energy, we convert it into glucose plus oxygen. So it's an endothermic reaction because photosynthesis uses energy from the sun to break covalent bonds in carbon dioxide and water. So it's shown here. 
and this process absorbs the energy and is therefore endothermic. So next, question 10. Explain why carbohydrates are high energy compounds. So carbohydrates are compounds of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Because when we look at the word carbo, carbon, hydro, and uh, hydrogen and oxygen. These compounds are also known as sugars. Carbohydrates are a form of storing energy in the form of chemical potential energy because we use the energy from the sun, we broke the bonds and we form glucose. When we break up glucose, it releases energy. So therefore it's a store of potential chemical potential energy. So when they react chemically, such as in respiration, they release large amounts of energy because we break up the bonds in uh, the glucose and this releases a lot of energy that we can then use. So in summary, what we looked at today was photosynthesis. It's how plants uh, use light to break bonds of carbon dioxide and uh, water and then they reform bonds to make sugar. So glucose is a sugar and glucose is a store of energy because when we break up the bonds in glucose, we can then release energy and use this for ourselves or for fueling uh, metabolic processes. Mm -hmm.